Hello everyone, this is George. Welcome to tech to tinker In this video, we will talk about the Bluetooth Low Energy or BLE module with ESP32 using MicroPython. Though ESP32 has a built-in BLE capability, sometimes we want the flexibility of using external module. We will use UART Serial as communication protocol between the ESP32 and BLE module. The Bluetooth module will then communicate with other Bluetooth device. What I have here is a Bluetooth 4.0 module included in Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. It has four pins, namely GND for the ground pin, VCC for the supply voltage, TX for the UART transmit pin, and RX for the UART receive pin. In order to follow this lesson, you will need an ESP32 development board, a Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield, a 4 fin female to female DuPont jumper wires, and of course the Bluetooth 4.0 module itself. In using the Gorilla Cell development kits, the following should be followed. When attaching the DuPont wires to the modules, the color coding should be observed. That is, black for the ground, red for the VCC, yellow and the following colors for the control signal pin. While when attaching the other end of the DuPont wires to the ESP32 shield, match the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers. That is, black is to black, red is to red, yellow and the following colors to the yellow pin headers. For this lesson, I choose GPIO 23 for the TX pin and GPIO 25 for the RX pin. Now for the software part, I prepared here two example source code for this demonstration. Let me click the run button to execute example number one. Let me check if my Bluetooth is turned on and as you can see it's turned on. Then let me open my serial Bluetooth application. Let me click the menu, devices, and as you can see, the JDY32LE is discovered. Let me click it or let me select it, connecting, and it's now connected. Now, we can send a BLE message to my mobile phone using BLE.write. BLE that right. Let's say how are you? How are you? Question mark backslash R backslash N and hit enter. As you can see, it is received here in the Bluetooth serial terminal. Or we can reply using I'm good. And we can read it from here. BLE dot read. And as you can see, it's in it's received here in the REPL. Let's try again. Let's say Hello. And hit enter. And as you can see, it's received in the Bluetooth serial terminal. Let's send again, I'm good. And let's read it. Let me terminate example number one. And let's go to example number two. With example number two, we will demonstrate both receiving of Bluetooth messages and sending of Bluetooth messages. Now let me click the run button to execute example number two. And using this one, we can control the onboard LED. We can turn it on or off or make it blink. Let's send on using these pre-configured buttons on or turn it off or make it blink. Or let's say, let's send a message 
Hello. And as you can see, the message is hello. Or we can send a Bluetooth message by pressing the onboard boot button. So if it is pressed, it will send this message. I will press it. And as you can see, boot button is pressed. Message is received in the Bluetooth serial terminal. Once more. Again. Okay. I want to demonstrate on how we can configure or access the configuration of the JDY32 Bluetooth module. I will terminate. I will disconnect in my Bluetooth serial terminal because it will not let us connect to the AT mode if another Bluetooth device is connected to the module. So we can access what is the current version of the JDY32 using by sending AT plus version. Let me terminate the example number two. And let's use example number one as for the demonstration. Now let's write AT plus version. ELE dot write AT version backslash r backslash n enter and let's read it and as you can see the reply is exactly the same as in the data sheet okay. this one or we can soft reset it by sending at plus reset let's check the baud rate using at plus baud It what and let's read it as you can see what is equal to number one because one is it means 9600 so we can set it or configure it up to 115,200 bits per second or we can query the name of the board it right name read it and the name is jdy32 le for the spp i think how to query the spp I'm not sure how same names I think names yeah we should put yes so let's query the SPP or the Bluetooth classic let's read it yeah. or let's change the name of the Bluetooth LE Let's say name and let's say Gorilla L. Enter and let's use the scanner. And as you can see, the name is now Gorilla Cell. Let's turn it back to default. I think we can use the default here default command 80 plus default let's try that one 80 plus default enter and read it let's scan again scan oh still gorilla cell huh I think we need to change the name. Anyway, the name is JDY-32-LE. Hit 
after we did it. Let's check also in the scanner. I don't know why. But seeing both in the ADY 32LE. Anyways, what else we can check? We can change the pin for the SPP or Bluetooth Classic. This one. For the connection type. That is connection type. You in if you set it to zero, no password is required. One you will need to enter password for its connection and two only on the first connection so that's it i hope you found this helpful as always the source code that is in here including other information can be found in the companion blog post for this video at techtotinker.blogspot.com links in the video description if you have any concern regarding this lesson, please write your message in the comment section. Please give this video a thumbs up and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe because I will be uploading more contents like this in the future. Thank you and have a good days ahead. See you and God bless.